Hey guys, Saxon with Good Time Gaming, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new Repeater 1874 Sniper Rifle. So, for those who don't know, this is the rifle that was included in the recent Western pack, and it is classified as a sniper rifle, not a regular, you know, assault rifle or anything like that. It's a sniper rifle. So, let's take a look at it, and let's see what kind of stats we have, let's see what kind of mods we have, and see what we can do with it. As you can see from it, on this page, the mods are kind of limited. You don't really have any. You have two barrels and one sight. So it's not like other DLC packs. The one that comes to mind was the Gage Historical Pack because it introduced some kind of old weapons, but despite the fact that some of those old weapons, they also had some compatible current day mods. So this one has none of that. It's just the mods you get out of here. So let's take a look at the damage of it and the stats overall. So as you can see from here, you have a magazine capacity at base of 15. You get 45 shots for it. Has a rate of fire of 90, which is, you know, it's good for this thing. You're gonna have to pull the pin all the way back whenever you fire before it um, will actually fire. Damage base of 175, 16 accuracy, 12 stability, 12 concealment, and 84 threat. With mods, here's what we can add. We can add two accuracy at a cost of two concealment, and if we want to silence it, we can lose 42 damage, an accuracy point, 2 concealment, 66 threat, and gain 7 stability. Uh, doesn't really seem worth it to me, but if you really just really want to silence it, then you can do that, I guess. So there's what it looks like. So we're not going to do that, because that doesn't make any sense to me. We're going to slap this barrel on here, and we're going to slap a sight onto it at a cost of 3 concealment, but we gain 3 stability. So, really no reason not to. So check that bad boy out. Looks pretty cool, right? Let's take it to the range and see how it fares. Alright, so we're at the shooting range in the safe house. Um, I just want to kind of see how this thing fires before I take it out into the actual game. So let's see here. See a little bit of sway going on there. That was pretty on target. All right, as you can see, it reloads one bullet at a time, which is, you know, pretty authentic, I would say. Let's see what we got at the end of here. You can see the sights are a little bit inaccurate. Like, you can see it kind of swaying around, but I think it's just a graphical thing. It doesn't seem like it actually affects anything. Let's see, look at that. Despite the fact that I'm obviously not on point, it's still hitting the same exact place. So, there's that to consider, I guess. Let's go in-game and see how it goes. Alright, so last but not least, let's check out the ammo pickup on this thing and see how it stacks up against other weapons. Alright, so one ammo pickup is going to give me one bullet, it looks like. 1-1. One, one. This isn't necessarily a bad pickup rate, I guess, but it's not exactly spectacular, and honestly, most of the other rifles are just better overall. Not just in terms of ammo pickup rate, but just generally speaking, they're just a lot more versatile, a lot better guns than this thing. So with that being said, here's my kind of final thoughts about this gun. Um, it is kind of cool. It's different, I guess. But honestly, it's not really that good. It's not even better, I would say, than the Rattlesnake, which is probably the closest comparison that you could draw to another um, currently existing sniper rifle. The fact that the mods on it are so limited pretty much means that you don't really have a whole lot of options in terms of what you can do with it, and it's just kind of... I, I don't see why you'd bother to have even a mod slot if it's just one mod for that one slot. It just seems kind of silly, I guess. I don't know, but that's just my thoughts about it. Um, yeah, overall, I would just kind of avoid this gun. It's not spectacular. It's not terrible. It's just mediocre. And I guess a little bit disappointing, maybe. And I think most damning of all is the fact that this gun reloads one bullet at a time. Making it a pain in the ass to get reloaded in most circumstances. But let me know what you guys think of this gun. Let me know what you think of the pack. Leave some comments below. And this is Zaxxon Good Time Gaming. Remind you guys to always have a good time gaming. Hey guys, Saxon with Good Time Gaming. Thanks for checking out this video. Stay tuned for another weapon review in the same Western DLC pack.
And in the meantime, why not check out this Game of Thrones video right here? Thanks a lot, guys.